Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video. And it is the top 5 mods of the week episode 152. And I've got 5 really cool mods to share with you in the top 5 places this week, plus a few honourable mentions. But before we do take a look at this week's mods, here are the results of the poll you participated in last week. Now, over 10,000 of you, the most in, a very very long time participated and the winner with 51% of the vote is the old Luke overhaul followed in second place is the Anakin clone gear with 21% then Bo-Katan took 13 and the Chewbacca and C-3PO mod took 8 and honestly one of the best Jedi mods we've seen in a long time got 5th place with only 7%. If you do want to participate in the vote from this week, make sure you watch until the end of the video so you have seen all of the mods, then head on over to my channel page, go to the community tab, and the vote will be there. Now let's take a look at the mods from this week, starting with an honourable mention from Mank Demery, and this is the Clone Stealth Troopers. So this replaces all three of the Clone Commando skins with a custom Clone Stealth mesh. The helmet model has been made from scratch, and it looks really cool. The majority of this clone trooper is light grey, but there is some darker grey accents going on, and I really like the helmet design. It's got a nice red and yellow pattern to it. Included with the mod is a custom portrait image for the respawn menus, replacing the standard clone commando portrait, which is a nice touch. The next honourable mention is a Stormtrooper mod, and this doesn't just replace the helmet, but it also replaces the body, and it's the Maul Game Stormtroopers from Tortuga. So this replaces the base Stormtrooper for the Assault and Heavy class, plus the Sand Trooper and Legacy Jump Trooper body with a custom Stormtrooper based off the art of the cancelled Darth Maul game. The highlight here is obviously the new helmet, but I have to say the bodywork is actually quite well done it's got various changes on the torso specifically, but also the legs and arms as well. The third honourable mention is the Jedi Master Yoda mod from Claymaver 2000. So this is a new appearance for the Jedi Master, and it's basically a Jedi Knight variant, which replaces his first skin. So as you can see, it's got a real awesome custom tunic, you have fingerless gloves and all kinds of stuff. It's really well done, actually. I do like this appearance. It's something different and we've not seen this before. There is also a Jedi robes appearance to choose from as well which replaces his hooded appearance so you basically get the first appearance that I've just showed you but with a dark brown cloak on which is awesome and there is also two additional files to replace the color of his lightsaber blade whether it be blue or gold it is obviously defaulted to green but you do have the option for blue or gold if you wish and now for the top five countdown and kicking things off this week in fifth place is the phase one concept art clone troopers from tortuga so this replaces the phase one clone helmet with a custom made helmet based off the concept art of the phase one clones. Whilst the model actually is really well done, I personally much prefer the actual phase one variant we have in canon, but nevertheless, it's really well done. I love the modeling work going on here. It really captures it and works well in Battlefront 2, but it isn't just replacing the standard default white clone trooper. No, it actually replaces pretty much all of the phase one skins. You have all of those custom textures and patterns going on and it works really, really well with a lot of them. And it's not just the standard trooper classes either. It also works for the art trooper phase one appearances as well, which actually once again work great with it. You get it with the aerial trooper and you get it with the specialist class. It's really cool to see this actually not just be limited to one class, it's actually available for all of these various skins and classes. In fourth place this week, I have the Bosk 1313 mod from Daz Assassin 100. So this replaces Bosk's appearance with an original 1313 skin loosely based off the concept art from Star Wars 1313. So as you can see, it works really, really well. I really do like how this looks. You get a custom body model, face texture, and portrait image for the respawn and collection menus. I really do like the armor and the color scheme going on. He has a broken handcuff on one hand, which is actually quite cool. And he has fingerless gloves. That's twice we've got those in this episode for mods. And overall, it's just a really well-made mod, I think. 
in third place this week, I've got the Zeb mod from Zenga. And this is not a fully polished mod, it's just a proof of concept according to Zenga of what could be in the future. So that is why it has low resolution textures and it's just an overall low poly model. But it actually works quite well still, and I know a lot of people have been wanting a Zeb mod in the comments, so you finally have one, even if it is not quite complete just yet. It replaces Chewie and works well. It has custom voice lines for his emotes and stuff. For the glory of the sun. <laughs> oh, Carabast. You'll pay for that! There is also a custom portrait image for the respawn and collection menus. The runner-up for this top 5 Mars of the Week episode is the Crimson Corsair from Zenga, and this replaces Count Dooku with the Crimson Corsair, Sidon, Ifano, and this is just awesome to finally see him in Battlefront 2. It includes a whole host of features which we will get into, but I just really am glad to see this actually come true into Battlefront 2. He was a character that people wanted to see explored upon in The Force Awakens, and he did actually get multiple canon appearances, which did add more to his backstory and to the character. Let's talk about what it changes then. So it replaces all of Dooku's appearances with his outfit, with him as a character, and it also includes a bunch of UI tweaks. So you have a custom portrait image for the respawn and collection menus, and then there is custom star card images as well, which all look great. It replaces the intro and outro music with music from The Force Awakens, and his voice lines and emotes have been replaced with voice lines from Resistance. And Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, do we have a deal? Do you want the cargo or not? Dooku's lightsaber has been replaced with the sword that he wields, which is actually really cool. And the winner of this top 5 Mods of the Week episode is the Kit Fisto 2.0 mod from Tiger Venom 22. So, you probably know that I've showcased this mod before, well, an older version of this mod before in the top five mod series. This is basically a re-release and it's made various improvements to the mod and in my opinion, this is the best model that was released this week, hence why it's in the number one spot, because if I put it in the honorable mention for being a brand new re-release, people would be upset. And I also admire the amazing modeling work going on specifically around the head and I want to talk about all of the various changes so it no longer uses meshes belonging to other heroes so there's going to be a lot less conflicts with other mods. There are brand new face textures and improved colour accuracy to improve the quality of Kit Fisto's skin. Aside from the custom portrait image for the respawn and collection menus there is custom star card images which look fantastic. There are multiple versions of this mod to choose from. There is a 4K version or a 2K version, depending which version you want. And there are ultimately different skins to choose from as well. So there is the Jedi Master appearance from Attack of the Clones, the Jedi Robes version from Revenge of the Sith. There is the General Kit Fisto skin from The Clone Wars. And you also have this really cool lightsaber hilt, which also has a graphic in the respawn menu as well. The intro and outro themes have been replaced with other music, and on top of that, voice lines have been included as well for emotes. You can no more change the course of destiny than you can the path of a mighty river. The Jedi have the living force on their side. A true warrior fights for something greater than himself. You made a big splash, droid, but the ripples will never reach Coruscant. Aside from the 4K and 2K versions, there is an online and offline version. The version I'm showing in this video is the offline version only. Don't use this online, it changes abilities. But the online version just replaces Obi-Wan and keeps his abilities. But the offline version includes pull, dominance, insight, and rush. Lastly for the UI, there are descriptions for the skins in the text in the menus, which is awesome. So those are your top five mods of this week. Remember, you can download every single one of them using the links down below. And let me know down in the comments which mods were your favourite this week. And remember to vote for your very favourites in the community tab poll that is on my channel right now. It's been absolutely amazing to see so many of you join the modding community and download mods for the very first time since the game did go free on Epic. In case you've been living under a rock, there has been multiple fixes for the Epic Game Store version of the game, which I have posted in my Discord, so haven't joined it. There are various fixes there to go through and they will solve your issues. 
If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and turn notifications on plus drop a like to support the channel and check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them. That's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.